I know you can't hear the static, but also the steering wheel controls work. Everything works. So All right, everybody. We are out here today working on my buddy's CRV. We're gonna put a stereo in it. This actually seems like it's gonna be pretty simple. Uh, he got everything he needed. He got the wiring diagram. He got a backup camera. This one has one, but we're gonna put a new one on it. We got this, he got this guy, okay? Um, we're gonna start out. First thing we gotta do when we get in here, we'll need these guys. All right, so the first thing you gotta do here this has got to come out, so you got to get this down in low gear. So start it, put it on, pull it down low gear, turn it back off. All right, what's that blinking light, yo? That's my progressive. Oh, <laughs> yeah. So you'll take a flat head. There's a little thing right here. I can figure out how to get to it. I may need a smaller screwdriver. Does this go up, Chase? It should. I think it's down there. Gotcha. Maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, I got it. I think I'm gonna need a small screwdriver. Oh, wait. Now try to. Is there one on that side too? We may need to. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I can feel it coming. There it is. Then you can get your hands in here and just kind of work it, work it down. Ta da. And then just. Put that over to the side, okay? Now then, I need that guy, one of these. All right, right here, there's a little thing. Comes up. Put that to the side. All right, so now we've got, we've got two bolts here. Looks like they're eights. And then there's two, two bolts up here that appear to be eights that I've got. Hold on, we gotta take this thing first. Hold that, Chase, thank you. Okay, this should just you should be able to just work this work loose. Try not to break it. Get, these are the problem right here. This is what's got to come out of, so you gotta be careful not to break them. Because that's what holds this in. So you can just literally don't unplug this because apparently what I found out in studying was this is somehow tied into your airbag. So if you unhook that, you can mess up your airbag system. So just leave it. For a CRV? Yep. For all Hondas, I guess, because this harness is all one. Okay. Good to know. So you got two more. Oh, you got. <laughs> you're missing one. I'm missing one. Oh, no. So somebody's been in here before, haven't they? Yeah, because they're putting in the uh, the old camera. So apparently somebody put an aftermarket stereo in here, and when they traded it in, took they it back it out. out yep. But left, they probably didn't want to mess with pulling the headliner down or whatever. So I'm hoping the wiring for the old camera is still behind here. I think we can just swap it out. Yep. Or maybe plug that one in. Plug it in, yeah. I'll plug it in, yeah. Even yeah. better. All right, so I'm going to go get an 8 and that, an extension. And then I'll let you take those out. Okay, so we got it out. Like I said, it was should be 4, but it was 3 8 Use my ratchet. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to unplug this. Now, the reason we're doing it in this order is I want to get the new wiring harness and make sure everything mates up because I don't want to get the wiring harness together. And it not made up so what we're going to do is get the wiring harness for the stereo the wiring harness for the car make sure everything plugs in to these wiring harnesses and to the back of there then we'll put it together so now what we have to do is this is the aftermarket uh that goes in the stereo we've got that wiring diagram here this is the one that will plug into your car we've got that diagram here so i'm finding this one chase is finding this one we're going to crimp them together this is the slowest part of the whole thing Okay, so we got all of our wiring done. And what we did was I always like to test the stereo before we go back in there. We got everything plugged in. I know you can't hear the static, but also the steering wheel controls work. Everything works. So now we're gonna unplug this. I'm gonna wrap some of these electrical tape. We're gonna get the mount made and then get everything back together. We're gonna figure out where the uh, mic goes. We're gonna mount it. I'm probably gonna mount it up here just for now. Eventually, what I'll probably do, Chance, when we do your chase, sorry, I work with a guy named Chance, you're, so. You're fine. I, right here. Yeah. Just pop this down, run That's it up. most people do it. Yeah. And then he's got a camera. We're gonna do a backup camera, so we'll do another video about that. We bought the aftermarket kit that makes this a mount. It will bolt to the side. There will be a left and a right, and there's also a spacer in here. Now, what we noticed was when we used these holes right here to mount it, it was too sunk in. So we're gonna to move to these slotted holes, put it in, see how it looks. That way it's flush with the faceplate. So 
buy the mounting kit. Twenty dollars. It was like twenty bucks. It's got the four holes, or is in Chase's case, uh, Chase's case, three. Yeah, missing a bolt. Um, yeah, we got to get this done, and then run this wire, and then if you want to, we'll try and rerun your microphone. Yep, and we'll be done. We'll be done. So we got the mounting brackets on. We're getting ready to attach them. Uh, we had to trim the face plate to fit this because it's for a double den or a single den. So we had to trim this little bar off. Uh, we got our mic run. We're going to put it up there for now. Eventually, we'll probably run it up here. And then Chase also has a backup camera. And we found, there's one on here. We found the signal, but we can't find the power wire. So we may have to run a new power wire to it off the back of here. But as easy as this is to take out, we'll spend another day doing that. And plus, I think they've run the wires up here. And I don't like doing that. So I'm gonna run them down through here next time. So that'll be the next video in this series. But I'm gonna attach this, and then we'll put that piece on. And then there's a piece of trim here. And then put this back in, that back in, finish up the mic install, and then we'll try it out. So we got everything in. It doesn't sit very flush, but we're gonna work on that. There's adjustment in here. Like I said, we're gonna put in a backup camera too, um, or figure out if we can get that one to work, if we can get that one to work. Um, but that's all there is, everything works. This was actually pretty easy. And I'm also gonna try and take this and put it up here. I'll run the wire up and then underneath here and clip that on there or clip it on here, probably right there. Yeah. But that's just temporary. Like I said, we're gonna- Part one. Yeah, part one, we're gonna get the nav cam in there. And also, I, that should sit a little bit flusher, but oh well. But this was easy. This was what, like two hour job? Yeah. It's a super simple. A lot of talking. Yeah, a lot of talking, yeah. So we got everything mounted. We actually took this out and adjusted it. If you notice those mounting holes in the mounting bracket are slotted so you can pull it in and out. It looks a lot better. It's pretty flush here and flush here. It's flush here, but in the corners it's not. So if you pulled it out more, this would stick out. So it's kind of weird, but it's aftermarket. So it's not gonna be universal. Um, we took this clip off and it actually had a window mount for the microphone. Uh, Chase fed that down through there. He's putting all the plastic back. We got the backup camera in, and the only wire you can really see is up there. So we're done. And then the backup camera works. And then also, it just needs a little bit of adjusting it like down, but it's got LED lights on it too. That way, whenever at night, so it's pretty sweet. The only wire you can see is right here. Like I said, we came through the license plate light. So I'm pretty happy with how this turned out everything up and you should be good to go.